brother-in-law took me to uh, New Mexico and we passed by the solar plant, seeing one in person as we drove by it, and it was so awesome. Never thought I'd get the chance to actually work at one. Wasn't planning on going back to work, but I heard they were gonna be building a solar power plant and I've always been very interested in solar power. I grew up about 20 miles from here. I started here in November of 2019 when it was just bare pasture land. I fell in love with everything about it. Uh, I wanted to learn everything. I wanted to touch everything. I wanted to gain as much knowledge as I possibly could. So we have a very good training program. You know, we have a, a regional lead that takes us out here. We use the drone for many inspections on the solar farm. It just gives you a general site overview. Infrared is something that we use a lot. We can go up and take pictures of every single solar panel. So that is how we can get out of 600,000 solar panels very quickly determine how many solar panels are actually not working. It can help determine the health of the tracking system on a solar farm. The trackers are set up on a time system and date system. They know exactly what time of day it is and what date of the year it is that's going to give them the most efficient tracking of the sun from east to west throughout the day. And it'll just give the plant the most efficient irradiance from the sun as possible. You think of it like a sunflower. Uh, you know, a sunflower sits and follows the sun all day long. The tracking system does an incredible job at protecting these solar modules. For example, if you do have a huge hailstorm coming, you can turn the trackers to where they're facing 60 degrees, either east or west, and it'll deflect the hail that is hitting it. The other thing that is incredible about them is uh, when it gets super windy, the trackers will sense that and turn the solar modules into the wind so that you've got a protected blow from the wind and it doesn't harm them. In uh, snowy weather, uh, the snow will build up on the solar modules, It'll get real heavy, and also it doesn't collect very much irradiance from the sun whenever it's covered in snow. So these trackers will turn 60 degrees one way or the other, and the snow will just slough right off. And it doesn't, uh, it can start producing again. Flooding is not any more of an issue with solar arrays than it is with anywhere else. They don't contribute to any kind of pollutant or runoff either. I believe that that's a myth and uh, I have never seen that on any solar farm in the United States. You have far better performance in solar modules when it's cold. It actually increases the voltage that they can produce. We had winter storm, uh, we had Uri come through the area. It got down to negative six degrees out here and that's uh, very rare to see in Northeast Texas. These solar modules actually produced better than most any other time of the year. They have reflective irradiance, so they'll actually gather the reflective sunlight off the, the ground and it helps them produce more. So when we had snow all over the ground, and it really reflects the sun, there was actually times we were doing better than just about any other time. Weather was so cold, it was gelling up the diesel in our pickups. We weren't able to start our vehicles. Phone lines only worked some of the time, so communication was difficult. Solar by itself, we were able to provide power for 10,000 homes during that time when a lot of homes were not seeing power. It was actually a very good time for solar to show what we can really do. The industry in general is very conscious of the environment. Light Source BP go the extra mile to make sure the animals out here are well taken care of. They put uh, bat boxes and uh, different kinds of vegetation out here that's gonna help with the population. That's been a really huge breath of fresh air. The 
solar has been able to provide a lot of really good jobs for a lot of families that really need it. And they're doing a good thing by increasing the amount of renewable energy that is out there. And this is sustainable energy that will last forever. And the people around here are being able to feed their families and say that I'm contributing to that. Being a single mom, it has released so much stress on me. I'm able to take care of things that, you know, I had to worry and stress about before. This opportunity came up, it was like, wow, open land, lots of sunshine, and I love being outdoors, I love this job. It's, uh, it's right up my alley.